Evelyn Schwein was 101 years old when she died at a care facility in Redwood Falls, a death that by all accounts should not have happened. Good evening, Randy and Julie are off. Court records say a worker was improperly transferring Schwein when she fell. She died of her injuries seven days later. Court documents say that worker was Francisco Ramirez. He faces four charges, including criminal neglect, mistreatment, and second degree manslaughter. The story is new at 10 and Danny Spiewak talked with the victim's family. Danny. Well, Carla, beyond just the criminal charges, the family has now filed a civil lawsuit in Hennepin County. The lawsuit seeks damages against not only Ramirez, but also the staffing agency that placed him in this Redwood Falls nursing home. Evan was with us for every um, baptism, every confirmation, every birthday, every Christmas. Barbara Pivik knew she'd have to say goodbye to her 101-year-old aunt at some point. But we didn't expect it to be the way it did and for her to have to suffer the way she suffered. Evelyn Schwein died in September 2017, just a week after suffering serious lower body fractures in a fall. A State Department of Health investigation cited in the civil complaint found that a staffer named Francisco Ramirez failed to follow policies while transferring Schwein out of a bathtub. The state faulted him for not asking a second employee for help, among other things. According to the investigation, Ramirez unstrapped Schwein while she was still elevated. And then that she would slip and fall from there, it just... It, it didn't seem right. Ramirez was an employee of All Temporaries Midwest Incorporated, a staffing company based in Minneapolis. The family's civil suit accuses the company of breaching legal duties as the supervising agency. The family's attorney wants to know how Ramirez was hired. Why did this company put this man in this position where people depend on him for their safety? Meanwhile, an attorney representing Ramirez in his separate criminal case said the information contained in the complaint paints an incomplete picture of what happened. Mr. Ramirez is innocent of the charges alleged in the complaint. If this case goes to trial, we are confident that a judge or jury will agree. But for the family, the civil lawsuit is about the bigger picture. I hope it raises some awareness and I hope there's some changes made that um, it doesn't happen to somebody else. We called the staffing agency today for a response and an employee who answered the phone said she didn't know anything about the civil case and hung up the phone. Carla, back to you. Just uh, the worst nightmare for a lot of families. Thank you, Danny.